Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Fatih. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness and the Emir of Qatar discussed measures to strengthen the long standing bilateral ties between the two countries across all levels, in addition to regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today held his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by his his Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role he plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rafah Palace today the United Kingdom's Ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin, in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the long-standing Bahrain-UK relationship which has been developed and strengthened over a 200-year period. His Royal Highness highlighted that throughout this time, Bahrain and the UK have built a strong, wide-ranging and mutually beneficial official relationship across economic, cultural, political and defense related issues. He also emphasized Bahrain's commitment to building on the wide ranging Bahrain UK ties in order to achieve stability and prosperity for both countries. His Royal Highness and the British Ambassador discussed recent regional and international developments as well as ongoing efforts to combat all forms of terrorism and extremism which only seek to harm the region's long term interests and sustainable development goals. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated today Bahrain International Garden Show at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. On this occasion, Her Royal Highness valued the support given by His Majesty the King to the show and as a niche and national event, which dates back to the 50s of the previous century. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in the outstanding performance of this year's edition of the exhibition, stressing its importance in implementing the objectives of the National Agricultural Development Initiative in boosting efforts to achieve food security, in engaging the private sector and in encouraging agricultural investments, among other objectives. She added that these annual, sh this, these annual shows aim at promoting interest in agriculture, allocating uh, green spaces and disseminating environmental culture towards ensuring a better future for coming generations. She stated that the initiative plans this annual event and cooperate directly with the official, civil and private sector institutions to support this field through establishing exemplary projects. Her Royal Highness toured the exhibition's local and international participating sectors which utilize the latest agricultural methods and inventions. Her Royal Highness also honored the women in the Bahrain Club for Gardens. The 2017 Bahrain International Garden Show, which this year focuses on new methods and systems that utilize small spaces to create compact gardens, was open today at the Bahrain International Convention and Exhibition Center. It has been remarkable for Bahrain to host uh, such an uh, important uh, event, uh, the Bahrain International Garden uh, Show. For us at GPIC, we see ourselves as the most relevant partner to this, uh, to this event because we are one of the largest fertilizer producers in the GCC countries and one of the most reputable environmentally friendly industry uh, in the world. This is event is very, very important. I can see really here chance for Bosnia and even for Bahrain in Bosnia, you know. I saw many production from Bahrain here, 
that's very important, that uh, would be very useful in Bosnia. The show sections included over 150 exhibitors and companies from various countries who were taking part. It's our third year participating in the show. Um, it has uh, made us grown tremendously. Uh, it, it built the company because uh, every year we show different products and services that we offer in Bahrain. Um, last year the garden show saw an average of uh, 36,000 participants, which was amazing. And um, it brought people from outside of Bahrain, uh, from all over the world, and they got to see what uh, Bahrainis have to offer. This is our first time in garden shop in Bahrain. As a company name of Yardan, we are producing raw honey. So they're all uh, purely no chemical and the natural flora. So they make it so pure and raw. So the honey has so many benefits for the health. So that is so important that bees can take uh, bees are, can take the pollens in a natural flora. So that's why we are here. The Bahrain International Garden Show has become a platform for experts and enthusiasts to further enhance their knowledge with the latest best practices in the industry and has proven that Bahrain can be a successful agricultural environment to achieving social, environmental and economic progress. The Bahrain International Garden Show has been a successful event since its year of establishment and continues to flourish with new ideas and will be held from the 23rd to the 26th of February. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The deputy premier and head of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the updated phase two of the unified permit licensing system in the presence of the ministers, members of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, and senior officials in ministries and relevant government bodies. The deputy premier stated that the government continues to improve its systems to keep up with the development of infrastructure in the kingdom in order to fulfill the current. And future needs. He affirmed the keenness on creating an integrative governmental formula and reducing audits and visits to ministries and governmental bodies and intensifying reliance on digital solutions to implement the directives of the Prime Minister and the interest and follow-up of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. He hailed the efforts of the Chief Executive Officer of Informatics and Electronic Government Authority, Mohammed Al Qaid, and the main partners of ministries and government and private bodies for their contributions, commending the authority's development of the project through depending on human resources, qualified Bahraini cadres, and strong technical infrastructure. Sheikh Khalid directed to add online payment services for municipality fees and traffic clearances, as well as activating public services notifications. For his part, Informatics and Electronic Government Authority, CEO stated that the system was created to facilitate licensing and the acceleration of its process. The President of the Supreme Council of Health Attorney General, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, took part in the first public forum discussing the National Social Health Insurance Program, Sahati. The forum was organized by the Jazeera Cultural Center and witnessed the attendance of a number of health officials, MPs, and members of the general public. The President of the Supreme Council of Health highlighted the main pillars of the upcoming project. He said that according to joint studies with the World Bank, Bahrain, citizens' healthcare costs amount to BD 500 per person. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed went through the major reforms the social health insurance program will bring about including the creation of quality assurance bodies, an integrated IT system, pay for performance schemes, and complete autonomy for government hospitals and primary healthcare centers. All this to assure that the citizens achieve the best quality services as per, as per the main guidelines of Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. Actually this project actually the main purpose is actually serving the people and I think that uh, we need actually to tell the people how what they are going to get, what is the difference between what they are getting now, what they are going to take in the future, what advantage they are going to have you know with the new system, what advantage the system as a whole as a you know the, of the health uh, delivery is, is going to change and you know, become much more effective, much more uh, you know, responsive to the uh, to, to the patient and to the uh, customers. Uh, this, I think, I think that we need to pass to the uh, uh, people.
people and the other, other side actually uh, the way of the uh, controlling the expenses and the quality of uh, the system is very important and that I think this system is going to work in this direction in a very very effectively. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,342.75 points, marking an increase of 22.73 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, insurance, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 63% of total shares. 78 transactions included 3,045,211 shares worth 708,449 Bahraini dinars.